Globally, transport accounts for 24% of greenhouse gas emissions annually, and the sector has a central role in supporting the delivery of net zero. The UK transport sector generates 28% of national greenhouse gas emissions annually, more than any other energy using sector. With 90% of domestic transport emissions from cars, vans, buses and goods vehicles. Our mission is not just to reduce emissions. We must aim to eliminate the carbon produced by transport and achieve total decarbonisation. We need to decarbonise in two ways. Reduce the operational carbon that comes from transport vehicles and reduce embodied carbon emissions from the materials used in the construction and maintenance of vehicles and transport infrastructure. We must start making a difference today or seriously risk eating into the carbon budget on our pathway to being net zero by 2050. It's crucial that we reduce transport emissions by 50% between now and 2030. We need to act quickly across three key areas. First, we must utilize the toolkits that are already available today to deliver significant decarbonization in the 2020s including accelerating the use of sustainable transport, delivering on active travel, rail electrification, improved urban transport and zero emission vehicles. Secondly, we need to develop and deploy smart technology to help accelerate our journey. Technology can help us decarbonize our vehicles, develop new fuels and innovate to create carbon neutral transport infrastructure. It can also help us plan for tomorrow's transport today. By accelerating the deployment of electric vehicles and charging infrastructure and speeding up our transition to a zero emission fleet. It will help deliver connected and autonomous vehicles and delivery networks that use data to optimize loads, improve energy efficiency and maximize network performance. Finally, we must plan, design and build low and zero carbon infrastructure. While much of the transport infrastructure we have in place today will still exist in 2050, we must create low or zero carbon solutions to repair and renew it and deliver new infrastructure that better connects people and supports our economy, whilst also developing solutions to offset emissions from transport where full decarbonisation is not possible. At Atkins, we recognize that the scale of the challenge spans the energy, built environment and transportation sectors. So we must develop a collaborative approach to eliminating greenhouse gas emissions and not just reduce them through marginal improvements. We're supporting modal shifts by developing rapid transit projects that help reduce carbon and congestion and improve mobility. We're also playing a central role in shaping and delivering cycling and walking programs, helping develop hydrogen trains and electric roads, and reimagining how people travel across towns and cities. We're developing innovative tools to test the carbon impacts of different designs, helping create digital twins that enable better planning, and embedding decarbonization into our clients' transport strategies, plans and projects. We're working with our clients to deliver solutions that will accelerate us towards engineering net zero. Together, we can engineer a better future for our planet, our society and the people within it. <laughs>